All right, everybody, welcome to the final game of the day. Caleb Brown here to bring you the final game right here on the Brevard Sports Network Facebook page. The Brevard Sports Network YouTube page are the two places you can find this game live. We, got, we are live here on Facebook. We are live on YouTube. That's Brevard Sports Network. We'd like to thank K-Ball Construction for all your construction needs. Give them a call at 321-432-6878. Still doing it. Folks, the Space Coast Panthers come into today 3-0 in championship games. We are down to our final game of the day. As you see... The West Tampa Spartans make their way out to the field. Caleb Brown here coming to you live. And it's been a day. We may be two hours behind, but we got this final game of the day final champion to be crowned all right as for the number seven is a captain, number 11 is a captain. Number 14 is a captain for Space Coast. Go ahead and let you zoom in and get an eye on this coin toss. So I can give you the three captains for the Spartans. Number seven, John Hightower Jr. Number 11, Tyquise Atkins. And number 14, Amarion Richardson. As they go to do the coin toss. As the infamous song that plays in every football player's head. Especially on a night like this, championship night. Song, We Ready. It rings through Bryant Stadium. Live in beautiful Lakeland, Florida. And folks, it is ready to go. Uh, they got the Panthers with this white white shirts and the silver numbers, silver reflective numbers. Those are always fun to broadcast with. Let me know, folks, right here, number 44, Kamarion Stra of the West, West Tampa Spartans watching you from Pensacola, Florida. We got Terry McNeil says, let's go Space Coast. As always, everybody, let us know where you're watching from, who you're cheering on. And the Panthers say they want to kick off. Let's go Space Coast. Let's go Man Man, number seven, a.k.a. Bonky, little brother. Okay. Okay. Man Man. Space Coast Panthers, so I believe you would be referring to one Charlie Williams Jr. As in like, Coach Charlie? I've heard many great things about that man from a certain family. And there's the kickoff, makes a man miss. And he's got some room and finally taken down at about the Panther 49-yard line, and that is where 
the space or the uh, it's where the Spartans will take over. And uh, here we go. They'll place the ball. Smack dab on the 50-yard line. Number eight is your quarterback. Devin Perkins. Perkins under center. Perkins hands off to the first back through, and he will pick up a gain of about two or three yards on the play. Did not see the ball carrier's number. And he'll get two yards. It's going to be second and eight here for the Spartans. Perkins hands off to the second back through. He's going to get a couple yards. And he'll be close to a first down. I believe that was number two on the carry. If that was number two. It'll be uh, Jamarion Thomas. Gonna bring up third and four. Here we go. I formation, hands off to the first back through, and he will fight his way. It's going to be interesting to see where they spot him. It was number 11 on the ball carry. That's uh, Tyquise Adkins, one of the, one of the uh, captains. And it's going to bring up fourth and short. Fourth and about one here on the 41-yard line. What do the Spartans have in store? I formation. Under center gives it the first back through. Number 11. He's got himself a Spartans first down. And the Spartans will continue the drive. They're number 11. Tyquise Atkins on the carry, and it will be first and 10 from the 36 yard line. 36 or 37? Probably closer to the 37. All the results of all the previous games are in the description of this post. There's the handoff, and he's got some room. That's number eight on the carry. That's Devin Perkins. Check that, I believe actually that might have been number nine. And that's uh, Maxwell Baptiste. Number eight in the quarterback, in the pistol. Hands off. Back, what a tackle there. That was number nine on the carry. It was Maxwell Baptiste. Second and nine here for the Spartans as they are just inside the K-ball construction red zone. Again, number eight is your quarterback. That's Devin Perkins. Perkins brings his Spartans to the line. Perkins has number 11. Now he 
motions him. Also number 26 in the backfield. Perkins catches the snap, gives it off to number 11. Number 11 tries to get to the outside. And number 89 with the hit in the backfield. Got to go to the second page here. Bum, 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 bum. Number 80. I don't have an 89. I have a 99, so it might be Makai Joe. Third and long, about third and 12 here for the Spartans. Fakes the handoff, play action, and it's intercepted! Intercepted! Midfield, one man to beat! Ball's on the ground! Fumble! And the Space Coast Panthers recover it! Number 24. Sorry, that's 22, Colton Ogle. Colton Ogle with the interception. And the Panthers have caused a big turnover. Number 15 is your quarterback. A Zion Sandy. Sandy. Play action. Steps up. He's going to call his own number. And he'll pick up maybe a yard or two and before being wrapped up. It was number 15 on the interception. Well, then if it was number 15 on the interception, that's Zion Sandy. If that's what you're trying to say. And there's the handoff there to number seven. Number seven follows the block, spins forward, finally gets spun to the ground, but not before picking up a gain of about five or six yards. I can tell that number. That was number seven. Charlie Williams Jr. And he'll give it off to another back. He's going to circle around and try to come to the edge. There's number one, cuts inside. And taken down at about the, t the two or three yard line. Number one on the end around the jet sweep motion. Chad Johnson. It's Chad Johnson. So first and goal inside the two-yard line. Fifteen hands the, hands the football off to number seven, Charlie Williams Jr. into the end zone. Touchdown, Space Coast Panthers. Number seven puts that ball in the end zone. Now they're going for the point after. They call him Man Man. Let's go. 
Gives out to number 12. Number 12 gets in for the point after. Raylan Travis. That, those points off turnovers with 347 left to go in here in the first quarter. The Space Coast Panthers go up 7 to nothing, and that's how you do it. You play excellent defense, get a nice return on the interception, and then the offense comes in and does their job and cashes in off of turnovers. Three forty-seven left to go in the first, and folks, uh, hold on. I'm going to take a quick break myself and get myself a drink of water. All right. Apologize, folks. I'm back. Set to do the kicking. It's number 40. And number 40 would happen to belong to Travis Dorf. Dorf set to kick for the Panthers. And that is a pooch, and it... It hits somebody. Falling on by the Spartans, and the Spartans will take over there. Number 24 on the recovery. That's De, uh, De, or DeAndre Rodriguez. I forgot. Excuse me about that. I forgot how to read for like half a second. Hopefully everyone's enjoying their Sunday. Those of you who have stayed on all day long with us here on the Brevard Sports Network, we appreciate you very much. It's been a long day. 12U action. Here comes the West Tampa Spartans. Number eight hands off there to number four. Number four gets tackled at the line of scrimmage. Might have gained a yard. That's uh, Vernon Hobbs. And Hobbs will pick up a, uh, gets, gets back to the line of scrimmage. It's going to be second and ten. Coming up on three minutes left to go here in quarter number one. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, uh, Quan Carter. Quan Carter, sorry. No, we, 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 we won't tolerate the language. And uh, handoff, and what a great job getting there by the defense. Number 12, the first one on the scene for the Panthers. That's Travis Ryland. Gets in there and makes the, makes the first hit. Hey, look, we, 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 th there will be no cussing at players, no cussing at coaches. We, 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 we don't tolerate that here. And, Uh, we don't. We we love comments. We we love everyone. We love the comments, but you know, just keep it classy, folks. Perkins fires, takes taking a shot. He's got a man, and it's caught. What a reception!
That was number 24 on the reception. Avon Jet. Avon Jet with the reception from Devin Perkins. And it will give him first and 10 on the 30, 38 yard line. And play action. No, he hands it off. He had me faked on the play action. There's number four delivering the hit. That's Vernon Hobbs picking up a nice gain. And it will be enough for a West Tampa Spartans first down. The Spartans got a little mojo now. Yeah, no, uh, uh, Vernon definitely brought the hit stick and uh, dishing some out. Perkins takes a snap, fires. Two receivers in the same spot and somebody's not happy. That was, uh, I believe number two was the intended receiver. Jamarion Thomas was the intended receiver. And Jet was also in the area, but again, I think somebody ran a wrong route. But it's going to bring up second and 10 for the Panthers. or for the uh, Spartans. Perkins hands off, and what a hit, but falls forward. It's number 26 on the carry. I don't have a 26, maybe a 25, Dylan Duffy. Perkins brings his team to the line. It's third and four. Perkins hands off there, number 26. Number 26 bounces to the outside. Got to make a tackle and lays a hit, but I think he'll be knocked down short at about the 20-yard line. And that's where they're going to mark it. So it'll be fourth and short for the Spartans. And a timeout called by, didn't see who called the timeout. Again, I'd like to thank our, oh, no one called a timeout. That's the end of the quarter. This quarter flew by, but right now the Space Coast Panthers have a seven to nothing lead as we head to Quada number two. I'd like to thank our sponsor for today who helped make it, who paid to make this happen. K-Ball Construction. For all your constructions need, call that number on your screen. They're the ones who stepped up to pay to make sure Brevard Sports Network got out here, and we've been here all day. Woke up at, we woke up at uh, five in the morning, where it was out the door by six, and we've been here since about 7:45. So here we go, I formation, fourth, fourth and four. Inside the K-ball construction red zone. On the 20 yard line, gives it to a back and he looks like, 
He looks like he'll pick up a first down. That was number 11 on the carry. That's Tyquise Atkins. And Atkins picks up a much needed uh, first down. Come back in the I formation, Perkins under center. He's got two big backs behind him. We give it to number four, that's Hobbs Ver or Vernon Hobbs. And Hobbs will get dragged down by the face mask. I'm shocked that there's not a penalty flag. Perkins comes up, Hobbs Vernon the deep back. Two tight ends, two wide, nope. And there's number 11 continuing to fight his way forward. They'll have him marked close to a first down and they're continuing to push him. And I think he's right at the, the line to gain to Tyquise Ak Atkins. Atkins. Oh. It's going to be first in first down. First and goal from the 6-yard line inside the K Ball Construction Red Zone. First and goal from the six. Perkins under center. They hand it off there to number 11. Atkins fighting his way. And he'll be brought down at about the three yard line. Gain of three yards on the play. Second and goal from the three coming up for the Spartans. Here we go. 7.42 left to go in the quarter. Now he's got number 21 in the backfield. But he's also got number four, the deep back. Vernon Hobbs. Perkins. Hands off to Hobbs. Hobbs tries to spin forward and met beautifully by that defense coming in to, coming in to make the tackle. It's going to be number 13 for the Panthers. That's uh, Jaden Thomas fighting his way through the line to get the stop. And it's going to be third and goal from the three. Yeah, no, d don't ever underestimate Tyrone Gypsum's uh, knowledge of everybody that's affiliated with anybody. He needs two phones, one for just his contacts, the other, you know, for whatever his other purpose is. <laughs> and falls ahead. Does he fall in? They're saying he's short. He is short at the one-yard line. Fourth and one, and I mean that ball is sitting on the one-inch line. <laughs> shut up, Billy, shut up. <laughs> Gosh, dang it, Billy. Fourth and goal from the one-inch line, Perkins under center. Perkins hands up to the f up back, and he is, fights his way into the end zone. Touchdown, Spartans! Touchdown. 
That's number 30 on the carry. Timothy Walker with the touchdown. Handed off to the big man, and he's in with 6.15 left to go. There, extra point's good, but once again, there is a flag on the play. You figure we couldn't have too much good luck. We went through almost the whole first quarter with only one flag. Penalty goes on the Panthers. Check that. I think he might have pointed the wrong way. Spartans put points on the board. So we're all tied up with 6.15 left to go here in the second quarter. Skip and... It's recovered, but it, the ball did not go 10 yards. So because the ball did not go 10 yards, they can either have him re-kick it or the Panthers can start right there. You don't have to tell me to update the score. There's a method to my madness of when I update the score. So here come the Panthers. There's the handoff there. There's Man Man. And Man Man, I don't think he got back to the line of scrimmage. I think he lost a yard there. Comes back in the gun. Two by two set. Snap. Fakes play action and he throws that ball incomplete. It's going to bring up third down and about 11. So here come, it's uh, third and 11 for the Panthers. Number 15. A Zion Sandy, Sandy in the gun. And he's gonna hand off there to uh, Man Man. -Man. Number 40, or check, that wasn't man, man, that was number one. That was uh, Chad Johnson, number 44 on the tackle. Go to the second page of 
rosters here. Cameron Strawn. Cameron Strawn and on the tackle brings up fourth down and about five. My apologies. It was Chad Johnson on the carry. Sandy in the gun. There, now he gives it a, that's man, man. Man, man trying to get to the outside, cuts back inside, slipping through tackles, and he will be stopped short. And that will be a turnover on downs. And so it will be first and 10 from, the four, from their own 41-yard line for the Spartans. Turning over on downs, 4.53 left to go. Seven to seven, as you can see right there on your K-Ball construction scoreboard. Coming up at halftime, absolutely nothing. I'm going to take a break. So here comes Perkins. Bringing his squad to the line. Sends a man in motion. I'm giving myself a shot. Shot, shot, the cold cold. Hands it off there to number 11. Number 11 on the jet motion. Gets wrapped up from behind and falls forward. That was uh, number 30 on the tackle. That was Solomon Snaith. And Solomon Snaith picks up the tackle from behind. But it's about a five yard, four yard gain there for the Spartans. So second and about six. Got to get to the 50, or not the 50, the 49 yard line of the Panthers for a first down. Perkins gives it off there to Vernon Hobbs, and Hobbs will fall forward. Where do they mark him? They're going to mark him back, I think, on the 50. Mark him right there at midfield. So it's going to bring up third and one for the Spartans. Third and one for the Spartans. Perkins in the gun. Sends number 17 in motion. And he's going to give it off. I believe that's Vernon Hobbs. Hobbs has a first down and then some down at the 45-yard line of the Panthers. And that'll be enough for a Spartans first down. Perkins, and that's going to be number 17 on the jet sweep. Number 17 cuts inside. Number 17 spins off a tackle and is finally brought down. Might lose a couple yards. 
Bring him down at about the 46 yard line. Number 17 on the carry. Jeffrey Green Jr. But a flag on the play. Holding penalty will bring it all the way back to the 46 yard line. And so it'll be first down. Nope, same game going on. 12U. So first and 25 from their own 46-yard line. Timeout called by the Spartans, and they want to talk about it with 146 left to go here in the half. Again, we'd like to thank uh, K-Ball Construction. K-Ball Construction for sponsoring this game. Give them a call for all your construction needs at 321-432-6878. I'd like to welcome everyone watching here on the Brevard Sports Network, both our Facebook and our YouTube stream. So here we go. Second down. Nope, still first and 25 from their own 46. Perkins in the gun. Sends a man in motion. He's going to give it up to the back, and the back will make it to about That was it. That's good. That, that was good. Thank you. That wind came out of nowhere. It feels great. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. All right. So here we go. Second. Perkins in the gun. He's fixed number 26. Gives it on out down here. To the man in motion. That was uh, number five on the reception. That's uh, that's Makai Colbert, and Colbert stopped, and it should be third down. Timeout called by the Panthers. Thirty-six point two seconds left. So third and 15 for the Spartans. Shout out to number 10. That's DeAndre Griffin. Perkins drops back, fires, 
And great defense there being played by the Space Coast Panthers there, number six, Aiden Williams. And on the coverage. So it's going to be fourth and 15 with 30 seconds left. Oh, no, that, that, that doesn't bother me. I'm good. Perkins brings his guys in tight. And a timeout called by the Spartans as the Spartans want to talk about it. Each team scored on their opening possession and then each defense has stifled the other's offense. So when halftime comes, I hope you all got water. Hope you all got your drink and your, your snack. What time is it? It's about 7 o'clock. So maybe you got that dinner, that dinner coming. Go get your dinner at halftime. Come right back because you're not going to want to miss. So far, every game today has been within at least a touchdown. Yeah. Nope. Uh, correction. There's been one game that's been more, more than a touchdown. But, okay, so all but one game have finished within a touchdown score mark of each other. Perkins, fourth and 15, slings it up top. He's got room, but he will be stopped short. Shoestring tackle made there by number two. That's DeBar Fluellen, and Fluellen will give them the stop with 22.9 seconds left to go. And it will be turnover on down. Space Coast Panthers will get it first and 10 from about the, their own 46-yard line. 22.9 seconds left to go in the half. Do the Panthers take a shot here? Sandy in at quarterback. Three receivers near side. Sandy drops back. Throws the screen. And he's got a blocker. Spin move and brought down from behind is Man Man. And Man Man will get tackled. Timeout called by the Panthers after a huge gain. 12.1 seconds left to go here in the half. It's going to bring up first and 10 from the 47 from the uh, Spartans 47 yard line 12.1 seconds before the half ends Now if you're man man there I understand wanting to spin for you know spin and continue to pick up yards but you got to get out of bounds save that timeout I mean, hit him spinning back inside, you know, that, that, that cost him another four seconds. Now, I know it's just four seconds, but in a situation like this, four seconds is an eternity. That, that, that's enough time to possibly get you, a, 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 you know, another playoff here at the end of the half. Drops back. Sandy steps up, fires. He's got a man wide open and he's caught. Touchdown, Panthers. Panthers. Number six on the reception. That was 46 yards. Check that number six on the reception, Aiden Williams. 46-yard pitch and catch. From number 15. 
a Zion Sandy. That was really nice. And the point after is no good. But the Panthers end the half. Nope, wrong score. They end the half with a touchdown. And folks, that'll do it for the first half with your score. The, the Space Coast Panthers 13 and the West Tampa Spartans 7. We'll be right back. All right, so uh, I will let you all watch the halftime routine. However, because of the music, I can't let you listen to the song that they're dancing to. But I will at least let you all watch the cheerleading halftime routine.
All right, we'd like to thank K-Ball Construction for their sponsorship, and uh, here we go. We're ready. Ready to start the second half, the final half of football for the day. No sound? What do you mean, no sound? I got sound. I'm, I'm, I'm currently watching it on another device. and Yeah, okay. You're good. All right. No, nah, you're good. It's fine. Ah. It just it sounds clear. Yeah. Yeah. That's all it is. All right, so the Spartans set to kick off here. So. Kicker's having uh, something done. Don't know. Don't exactly know what. All right, good. Juan says we're loud. I'm loud and clear, so we're all good. Okay. Uh, Alan Griffin just might need to uh, jump out and jump back in the uh, the Facebook feed. All right, here we go. Ten minutes on the clock. And everyone's switching positions. Charlie Williams, you're uh, you, you'll be proud. You're man, man has scored one touchdown tonight. Got Linda Lorraine says Space Coast. And we're still waiting on something for what? Uh, oh, so, so the, the kicker was getting uh, equipment taken care of. All right, so we're back with the kicker and ready to go. I thought. All right, so. What are we waiting on now? Now the officials are going to come talk to each other. Yes, yeah, Space Coast 10, you picked up the victory. All the scores from every game are up in the description of this post. Refs are discussing something on the field. Oh, we were waiting for the rest of the referees to show back up. Got it. As, as you see them come back into your screen. Two of the referees were ready to go. The other three were kind of just, or other four were just kind of, you know, on a nice stroll. <laughs> now, I will say this. The, these refs, there have been two crews out here that have been alternating all day, but it's still a long day for them. Now they've also created a long day, but that's another story for another time, and I'm not going to go, but yeah. Um All right, here we go. We're ready. And the second half has begun. Touched by the Panthers, and they will fall on it at about the 42-yard line. <laughs> Let 
Man Man is your grandson. Well, he's got he, he had the first touchdown of the game. Excellent job on that. The other touchdown was at the end of the half was uh, Sandy to uh, Williams on a 46-yard touchdown reception. Sandy back in the gun, two backs with him. And he will hand off to, a, to the back and get a gain of about three or four on the play. All right, is that number one? Yes, it is. That's Chad Johnson on the carry. Chad Johnson will get brought down at about the 44-yard line, three yards on the play. It's going to be second and seven here for the Panthers. The 2023 12U Super Bowl. Sandy hands off to, that's Man Man. Man Man has a little bit of a crease. And Man Man will have enough for a Panther first down and then some brought down at about the Spartan 46-yard line, and, and the referee is having a word there with number two. Don't know if it's something he did or if it's something he said. Looking back here on the, the delay, looks like he might have said something to the other team and the, and the referee got in there and said, enough. Sandy hands off to Johnson. Chad Johnson bounces off of his own blocker and he will make it to about the 35 yard line before being brought down. It's gonna, that's gonna make it uh, second down and about th two. Chad Johnson and Charlie Williams Jr., the two backs doing damage here. Coming up on eight minutes left to go here in the third quarter. Sandy and there will be a flag on the play and that's going to be a offsides on the uh, Spartans and that will get be enough for a Space Coast Panther first down. So now on top of that run game that's providing a much needed shot to the offense, now they get a free five yards to get a first down and it's first and 10 from the 30 yard line. And more whistles stop the play. False start on the offense. That'll back them up five yards. It'll be first and 15 from the 35 yard line. Oh, when you run when you run this type of offense and, and your running game is effective, but it gets harder to want to commit to the run when you're behind the sticks like this, third and fifteen. And and Sandy's got an arm. He I mean he threw the ball legitimately forty yards in the air. The last five ran in by Williams. There's the handoff. And look at number 44 just come into the picture. Swallow up the back. Number 44, Cameron Strawn. And Strawn. Now the back picked up a couple yards on the play. It'll be second and 13. From the 30... Three. 
Two receivers, one back. And oh my goodness. You fumble. There's number two, picks it up. Number two trying to recover some yards. And who on it? Was that number seven who got in the backfield there? Number seven, John Hightower Jr. Forced a fumble, picked up there by the Panthers by number two, De, uh, DeBar Fluellen. And then the other big guy, number 44, finished off uh, Fluellen. And they still end up losing a yard. Nope, they got just got back to the line of scrimmage. Third and 13 from the 33-yard line. Sandy out of the gun, drops back to pass. And they set up a screen. Man Man tries to get to the outside, gets... He runs the man over. He's got himself a first down and then some. Taken down to about the 24. Check that. That's not the 24. Let's try the 14-yard line. Charlie Williams, Jr. And turnover. Apparently a last-minute fumble recovered by the Spartans. So it will be first and 10 for the Spartans. On about the 15 yard line, sits the nose of the football. The Spartans defense creates a turnover. And again, you know, that, that, that stops the momentum. 526 left to go here in the third quarter as the Spartans Now try to get some. Yeah, I, I didn't realize it was a fumble either until I saw a bunch of Spartans get up and start celebrating. Number eight is their quarterback. It's Devin Perkins. Perkins is going to hand off on the jet sweep. And wow, the back is swallowed up. What's the number on that truck? That's number, uh, that's number 99. And number 99 for the Panthers is Makai Joe. Coming up on 4.40 left to go here in the third quarter. 13-7 as you see on the K-Ball construction red zone or uh, scoreboard at the top of your screen. Hands off and a couple yards will be gotten. It's going to bring up third down. Third and about four. Or not third and four. Let's try third and 14. I promise I know how to do math, folks. It, 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 it's just been, it, it's been a long day. I, I, I would sing a song and make that reference. However, again, I don't want to get the stream taken down. Nor should anyone have to suffer through my uh, irritable singing. So, you know. No one wants to hear me sing, I promise you. I'm, uh, I'm no Charlie Pruth. And whoever, and I forget who else sings that song. So here we go. Perkins sends a man in motion. Fakes the jet sweep, play action, fires. And it's caught! What a catch made by that young man. Let's get the number on him. That's number 24 on the reception. DeAndre Rodriguez with the big reception. And that'll be enough for a Spartan first down. And we'll keep the drive alive for the Spartans. Coming up on three minutes left to go here in the third quarter. 
Hey, I'll say this. Perkins got an arm too. Now, he, they haven't thrown the ball very much, but Perkins has an accurate arm. And again, that was just a great job. That was a uh, fantastic job by uh, Rodriguez to high point that ball and come up with the catch. Perkins now gives it right up there. That's number four. That's Vernon Hobbs. And Hobbs will be taken down after a gain of maybe one. Might have gotten back to the line of scrimmage. It's going to bring up second and ten for the Spartans. These are two good quarterbacks, both um, Sandy and Perkins. Two great quarterbacks kind of dueling it out here. Not necessarily, you know, going throw for throw with each other, but when each does throw, it's accurate, and the receivers know how to go get the football. But it will be second and ten on the 34-yard line. Perkins fakes the play action, and there's a running back, and goodness gracious, was, uh, I think that was number 77. If that is, nope. Uh, let's try 97, Leland Payne on that tackle. And that'll bring up third down and about six. Ball currently placed on the 36. Sends a man in motion, and we have all sorts of whistles. I think it's going to be a false start on the offense, and I am correct. Five seconds left to go in the quarter. Two, one. Final play of the third quarter. Beautiful dropping the ball in the best bread basket. Number two, Jamarion Thomas and Perkins. Did exactly what he needed to do. And that will be the end of the third quarter with the Spartans marching down the field. Can they capitalize? Well, we'll see at the start of the fourth quarter right here on the Brevard Sports Network. Like, thank K Ball Construction. And K Ball Construction, call them for all your construction needs. Not call the number there on your screen. 321-432-6878. Still doing it. And thanks, K Ball, for sponsoring this game. And every game that has been live streamed today is up on our Facebook page. And every, every it is up on our Facebook page. And we are also streaming live on our YouTube page, which all the games will be saved to. So please feel free. Go grab whatever highlights you want. Go back and rewatch the games as many times as you want. 
I'm not going to lie. That f- no, nah, I... The 14U game wasn't the it, the 14U game had one of the best endings. I'll give you that, but that was a that was a, it was a sloppy football game for the first 39 minutes. Great ending, and gives it off there to number 26. Number 26 will get wrapped up and met at the line of scrimmage, and there's the late flag. Referee from the back threw it. Not even the uh, the white hat who the play happened in front of him. I did not see the call, but oh, okay. So essentially, they gave everyone a warning, like, "Hey, stop, stop with the chit chat." Brittany McDowell says uh, Space Coast Panthers about to pick the next pass off. I I don't know. Listen, uh, Perkins has not thrown inaccurate footballs. He's thrown it to his guys, dropping it in their bread basket, or thrown it high and allowing them to high point the ball. He's doing exactly what you need him to do as a quarterback. I'm not saying the Panthers can't. I'm just saying the way he's placing these balls, it's that, that it's going to be tough to do. Gives it up, I believe that's number 11 on the carry. First back through, it's Tequise Atkins. Like I said, I, I, the, the ending to that 14U game, absolutely awesome. I mean, you want to talk about a game. That was, aw- that was an awesome ending. But the first 39 minutes, sloppy. There was, I believe, a total of 16 unsportsmanlike conducts uh, called between, or uh, actually I think it was somewhere around near 20 unsportsmanlike conducts slash personal fouls that were called. It was a very ugly game. I did mention that they have picked one off. I didn't say that they couldn't. I just said it would be very hard. And, and, and the ball they picked off was was just he happened to step, read the quarterback's eyes and step and uh, got the interception. Every other pass since that has been dropped in the bread basket. Seven fifty seven left to go. I'm I, I'm not denying that a pick is a pick. No nowhere did I deny the validity of that pick. And that Space Coast defensive line said, uh, no thank you. You can uh, take that back. We don't want it. Seven and a half minutes left to go here in the game. Space Coast Panthers leading 13 to 7. And it's going to bring up fourth down. Right. He's got to flip that card because that, that play was third down. There we go. Fourth and six.
and the coach has got to call a timeout for the Spartans. Personnel groupings weren't right, and uh, again, timeout taken. I believe that's the second timeout taken of the half by the Spartans. And again, we think K ball construction. Yeah, the Space Coast Panthers need a big stop right here. If they can get the stop and, you know, tick off some more clock. There's 6.42 left to go here in the game. 6.42 left to go in the game. Fourth and six. Perkins comes out. He's got two backs in the backfield. One moves up to an H-back. Perkins fires and is caught, but he will be stopped short. That was number 24 on the reception. That was DeAndre Rodriguez. However, he'll be stopped short of a first down. And the defense gets a big stop there. Now, if you're the Panthers, you either want to score and put this one away or you just want to take as much time off this clock as humanly possible. Obviously, you'd like to accomplish both. Six thirty-six left to go. Under center, Sandy gives it to the second back through, and he's got picking up some yards. And he'll be taken down at about the 45-yard line as a timeout is taken by the Spartans. And the Spartans call. All right, th th that is their second timeout. Well, I, I thought it was their second timeout. I agree. I, 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 I would keep giving it to... Keep trading off between Man Man and uh, Chad Johnson and just let them do work. It's going to be another first down gained by that run. First and 10 from the 46 yard line. And that's going to be another handoff to the outside. And unfortunately, or great run. However, I'll say this. If there's one thing I had to uh, critique there, it's not getting down in bounds. You want to get down in bounds and keep the clock running. Okay, so one referee saying wind the clock. So apparently he was brought down in bounds, but, one, but the clock isn't moving. There it is. Now the clock is moving. Sandy under center. Sandy gives it to Johnson. Chad Johnson explodes for a huge gain. Down at about the 21-yard line. And once again, just taking time off the clock. The clock will stop for the movement of the chains. Panthers have gone 3-0 and today, looking to go 4-0. and There's Man Man, Man Man following his blockers, cutting right up. And that will be enough for another Space Coast Panther first down. I agree, this offensive line is absolutely doing their jobs. They are getting push off the line, and, and they, they are winning the battle at the line of scrimmage. They've done it all night long. I believe after the first drive, uh, J Coach Jiscom said, uh, 
They are a problem, period. That's Chad Johnson. Johnson scoots into the end zone. Touchdown, Space Coast Panthers. Number one, Chad Johnson. And that just might be the nail in the coffin. 4.04 left to go in the game, and it's 19 to 7. Chad Johnson from just under 20 yards out. And they give it to their biggest back who gets into the end zone. And it's 20 to 7. Panthers on top. Four oh four left to go in the game. And folks, this is what everyone's been competing for all day. This right here. Take a look at that gorgeous that title they get, MFYC. Check out the beautiful MFYC ring. And then that, there's the other trophy. And there's the trophy that looks like the Vince Lombardi trophy. That is a gorgeous trophy. Plus then they get the, the big, the big uh, I, I almost want to call it the... Um, Who was the guy who, who wore the clock or the chain around his neck with a, with a clock on it? My brain is dead and making me sound like a bigger idiot than I am. Not far off, but you know. That was a, that was a quick kickoff. Flavor Flav, there we go. Thank you. Flavor Flav, he 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 he, he was he was a guy who had a big big chain, and on the on the end of his big chain was a giant clock. It, I don't know how that name el eluded me. Again, I'm I'm gonna give it credit to the fact I've been up since five o'clock in the morning, and have been here broadcasting with Allen since 7.45. Thank you all for, for having fun with me today and, and hanging out all day. The Space Coast Panthers are uh, 3.59 away from going 4-0 and in championship games. There's a shot downfield, and it's nearly intercepted. Uh, Sandy almost got a piece of that one. How ironic would that be, a quarterback picking off a quarterback? Also in on the coverage there was number six, Aiden Williams, which also is kind of ironic considering... Aiden Williams caught a 46-yard touchdown pass from Sandy to end the first half. Perkins fires, and it's caught. What a reception. Great job coming back for the football, but again, time's not exactly on their side. I mean, you'd at least want to hurry and, and score another one for pride at least. And, I, and I'm not trying to be, you know, I'm not picking on nobody. I'm just, you know, I know me. If, if, if my season had come to an end, I would like to end it on a high note by at least getting another score on the board. But the Space Coast Panthers organization will be partying all day long 
all night long tonight and all day long tomorrow. As the organization looks like it's going to go 4-0. There's a little screen pass. There's another Spartans first down. 2.56, the clock stops to move the chains. And now it starts right back up. Again, let's thank all of our sponsors today uh, for making today happen. We'd like to thank K-Ball uh, Construction Company for stepping up and allowing Brevard Sports Network to have the you know funds to come over and, and do this Super Bowl. I'd like to thank everybody who's watched throughout the day. And that's an incomplete pass. Like again, just thank everybody. There's Terrence Shannon Senior Senior. Cheering for the Space Coast Panthers. Uh Coach Shannon. Can't wait to see you again after Turkey Day break. Watch you and your Your Vera Charter Panthers dominate the way they have been. Cross back. Fires and wham! There's Aiden Williams. Comes in with a big play as the clock continues to run. Two minutes left. That's right. Space Coast Panthers. Minute 43 from bringing home their fourth ring of the day. Hey, thank you very much. Makes a, makes a man miss and taken down. And there is a down uh, Spartan. Look, the Spartans have nothing to be ashamed of. To, to get to a Super Bowl is, is still quite a great accomplishment. Spartans for competing. Yeah, exactly. Look, the, Sp the Spartans. They gave up a great fight all day today. Alan Griffin, thank you very much, yes. And I, I hope everybody who's traveled has made it home safely today. And I hope the, these two squads both make it home safely. I've enjoyed broadcasting all day today. You know, as much as I say it's a long day, and it is, I wouldn't spend my Saturdays anyway, or Saturday or Sunday in this case, a Sunday anywhere else, you know, get, getting a chance to watch the next set of high school stars that we're going to be calling names for in high school. I love getting to watch and give the, 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 these athletes the credit they deserve because just because you're in youth ball doesn't mean you don't deserve coverage. And to the Space Coast Panthers organization, congratulations. A minute 16 left. And congratulations on going four for four. Again, any highlights anybody wants, please feel free to go to our Facebook page right here on the Brevard Sports Network or go to our YouTube page where the games have also been live streaming and feel free to grab whatever highlights. All we ask is that if you post the highlights somewhere, if you could just tag the Brevard Sports Network, that's all we ask. We don't charge. All we ask is that you tag us.
I don't think that's too much to ask. Clock stops. Again, thank you everyone for hanging out, hanging out with us today. It's been fun interacting with you guys, both fans from uh, fans from the Tampa, the uh, West Tampa Spartans. It's been awesome interacting all with you guys. You guys are. are great organization and it's been fun uh, to those in Brevard County everybody have a safe Thanksgiving let's all make it let's all uh, remember what it to what we're thankful for Absolutely. It has been our pleasure. And uh, catch us catch us Friday nights for high school football. Uh, Coco, Coco's playoff game in MCC will take on uh, Trinity Catholic. We will broadcast those on Friday nights on Sat next Saturday and Sunday. It will be the MFFCC championships being broadcasted. Two days worth of Super Bowls right here on the Brevard Sports Network. So more youth football to come next weekend. High school football Friday night drops back to pass. Perkins takes another shot. And that ball falls incomplete. Ronald Lakes, it... it, it it's been awesome spending the, uh, the, we know you've been been here all day, chiming in, telling us when we're wrong. And that, that's the thing, guys. We don't mind being told, look, if we're wrong on something, feel free to let us know. Because we, 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 we don't want to get information wrong about these student athletes. And we want to make sure everyone gets the credit they deserve. But in the name of Brevard County, congratulations again to the Space Coast Panthers for going 4-0 on the day and bringing more hardware back to the There's another catch. Oh my. Oh my goodness. And there's a. Uh, that's it. Well, I, I think it's it. I don't know. It's not a. I mean. I think the scoreboard's been unplugged. There's seven seconds. I mean, come on. Let's, what are we doing here? It's time for us all to go home. Turn out the lights. No need for anyone else to get hurt. There's seven seconds left. Score is twenty to twenty to seven. Timeout called by the Tampa Bay. Wet the West Tampa Spartans. I mean, I don't know.
I thought there was seven seconds left. This is the longest seven seconds ever. Like this feels like an NCAA tournament seven seconds. So I think this might be the last play. They're going to take a shot to the end zone, and it's nearly intercepted. And it's official. The Space Coast Panthers will go 4-0 on the day. Congratulations to the Space Coast Panthers. They won 6-U. They won 10U, they won 14U on a last second game winner, and now they've taken 12U. There we go, hold up, let's, let's get the graphic up. Space Coast Panthers, look at that. Nope, that's the wrong one. There's the one I was looking for. There it is. Space Coast Panthers go 4-0 on the, on the day. Bring home four Super Bowl trophies back to Brevard County. Yes, we are. We will be there next weekend, both Saturday and Sunday, for the MFFCC Super Bowls held in Daytona Beach, Florida Municipal Stadium. So for everyone here at BSN, everyone here for the MFYC, I'm Caleb Brown saying congratulations to all the champions. Have a great day, and let's 